Hey guys, welcome to a new video of mine and in this video I will be showing you guys how to win your lane at level 1 with Riven. This tactic that I'm about to show you will work in low elo and can be applied to high diamond as well. Somehow people are falling for this trick in every single game that I have tried. So basically if you're playing against the new meta champions like Victor or Lucian top lane, you want to be standing right behind them in the bush until the minions arrive. The next thing you want to do is you want to walk up to him. Riven is much stronger at level 1 than Lucian is. So now Lucian needs to decide whether he wants to go to the river or go back to his town. Tower. If he wants to stay in the lane, he's gonna lose the 1v1. If he goes back to the tower, he needs to burn his flesh and lose a lot of health. And if he runs into the river, I can chase him and get a full combo off or even get the first blood of the game. So let's roll the clip and see what he does. So he decides to go back into the river, which probably is the best option in this situation. Now the biggest mistake that he's making, he's trying to kite me in the most worst of the worst situation possible. There's no way that Lucian can win against Riven. And I could already pull off a full combo. So by doing this, he's only allowing me to get the first blood. But now the thing with this tactic is that this tactic works in every single game that you try. Even in Diamond 3 to 1, you can still pull this off and people will still fall for it. Now the next clip I will show you is from a streamer called Agent Riven. He pulls off the exact same method to win his lane at level 1. Now he goes in right now and it might look like he's actually failing the tactic but the thing is that Gangplank used his flash. So if he goes back to a farm he can easily flash in and then still get the first blood. So as you can see here, Agent Riven is waiting for his Q to come back up and he keeps on farming. Whenever he sees the opportunity he goes back in and takes the first blood. This was a clip of him playing somewhere in Diamond 1 to Diamond 2 ELO and people still fall for it. Now the next clip I will be showing you is him again but this time playing Riven against Victor, the new meta champion. So the thing here is he keeps on waiting into the bush even if it means losing some of the farm. So what's about to be happening here is that Victor is standing right behind that wall and it might look like he knows about the tactic. However, the thing is that Victor was probably trying to pretend that he was helping the jungler. So even after waiting all this time, Adrian Riven still gets to pull off a full entire combo on top of Victor. So Victor has now burnt his flash and he's now just farming and waiting for his Q to come back up. As soon as he sees the opportunity, he goes back in with his flash knowing that Victor doesn't have flash anymore. And this gives him the opportunity to get the first blood. So remember that this is all being done in high elo. Imagine pulling off the trick in silver or gold or platinum elo. People would just freak out and have no idea what to do anymore. So I'll be talking about champions you can pull this trick on. The first champion I would recommend doing this on is Gangplank. He's got low health, he's got no CC and his level 1 is just really bad in general. Actually making a small joke, Gangplank does have some sort of CC if he starts with the barrels. But most of the time Gangplanks are starting off with the Q and if they do start with the barrel then no problem. You can walk into the barrel and still do your full combo. As long as you can do your full combo and he cannot kite you with the barrels, you should be fine. The next champion we talk about is Victor. So this is a new meta champion for a number of reasons. And Victor may become a problem for some of the people once he gets going with scaling. However, with our tactic, we have no problem defeating him at level 1. The only way Victor can stop you is when he's starting at level 1 with his CC, but nobody does that with Victor. Also, his level 1 is just really bad in general, so Riven should have no problem actually cheesing him at level 1. Now, the next champion we are going to talk about is Nar. So, Nar may not be played that much recently, but he's still being played by a number of people. So, the problem about Nar is when you want to do this tactic, he has some sort of escape, but nobody actually starts Nar with his escape. Now, the second thing is when you pull the strick on Nar, he can kite you back if you actually make a mistake. So, if you do want to cheese Nar, make sure that you don't actually mess up your combo. And make sure you back off fast enough so he won't be able to kite you back. The next champion we talk about is Lucian. For some reason, Lucian is a champion that's being played by a number of people in the top lane. And I have no idea why, because I personally don't like this champion in the top lane. The only thing that Lucian can do is being a bully in the lane. But outside of the laning phase, Lucian is not really a problem. So if you want to do the cheese on Lucian, you should be aware that Lucian could start with his escape. If he has started with his escape, just go back off in the lane and just keep farming. However, if he's starting with his Q, you can easily get a full combo off him and there's nothing he can do. His level 1 is very weak, so there's just nothing that you need to worry about. 
Since we've been talking about Lucian, I also want to be talking about Vayne. Vayne is a champion that's sometimes being played in the top lane. You don't really see it that much, but if she's being played, she can be really annoying to Riven. If you want to pull this trick off on Vayne, make sure that Vayne is starting with her Q. If you are chasing her and you start to feel that she's starting with her E, don't get anywhere nearby walls because if she does get the chance to catch you stunned on a wall, it's going to turn out really bad for you. Also, even to this day, I still wonder why people play Vayne top lane because in my opinion, in, it's probably the worst thing you could ever do. Technically, it is a champion that can lane bully, however, she needs too long to scale and doesn't fit the top lane role. But anyway, that's my opinion. Let's move on with the next champion. So for the next champion, we have champions like Wukong. So Wukong is a champion that's really bad at level 1 and has no type of CC. The only thing that he has is some sort of escape, but barely anybody with Wukong starts with his escape. There's literally no way that Wukong can outtrade a Riffin, so Riffin can just do a full combo on him. For me, this tactic has worked so many times against Wukong. You should try it yourself. The next champion we talk about is a champion that's completely being forgotten by the whole community. However, there are still some people that main kill and play her every day. And so that's the reason I am mentioning this champion in this video. So honestly, Kale, there's nothing that she can do when you pull off this trick on her. The only thing that she could do is starting off with her heal and then run as fast as she can. But nobody is starting Kale with W, so there's nothing that you should be worrying about. Also, Kale is a champion that has so little health and armor. You could technically kill Kale in with one full combo combo and ignite. So the next champion we start talking about is Urgot. So Urgot is one of the examples that you should not do this against because Urgot is a champion that's being way too tanky and does way too much damage at level 1. Also another champion that you should not do this trick on is Swain. Swain is also just way too tanky and does way too much damage at level 1. You could technically make it work however it shouldn't be able to work in every single game that you do this on Swain. Also, I think it's pretty obvious that it doesn't work against champions like Darius or Renekton or Jax because they have way too much CC at level 1. So for the rest of all the champions that are ranged in the top lane and has no type of CC and a very bad level 1, you can pull off this cheese pretty much all the time. Alright guys, enough of this video, there's something else I want to be talking about and that is about my channel. Alright guys, so I want to ask you guys what happened. So about two weeks ago, I started uploading videos again on my YouTube channel. Starting my first video with the Season 9 Advanced Riven Combo Guide. Now the most amazing thing is that I only had 1500 subs at the beginning of uploading that video. And now two weeks later on, I got to 3000 subs. Literally making 1000 subs in just 4 days. Guys, I am so thankful that you guys are following my channel. I have had this project going for so long right now. I've always wanted to make a channel with videos helping other people to learn Riven and become better with this champion. But I did not expect so many people to start watching me in so little time. So after all of those years of me playing Riven, I can finally give all of my knowledge that I know about my champion. So hopefully I can turn you guys into another Riven Beast because that's something I've always wanted to do. I love helping people. If somebody asks me a question about Riven, I will always be there to help that person out. There are so many people that I have turned into a Riven main because I was helping them out. But now I can bring this to the next level. I can actually help people with my channel and that's what I will do. And that's what the channel is going to be all about. So I will be giving tips about the game itself sometimes here and there. But most of the channel is going to be all about Riven. Besides making guides for Riven and tips and tricks and everything, I do have a lot of things planned for the future. I will be doing gameplays on the channel, something like a road. And in the future, I will also be doing videos about specific matchups and all of that stuff. Anyway guys, once again, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Also, if you think this video was really helpful to you, don't forget to like. Also, don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't joined my Discord yet, please make sure you join my Discord. I have a really nice active community in there. And also, if you have more questions, just send me a message privately or place your question in the comments down below, guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video, man. Peace.